My name is Charles Stevens. I'm Vanessa Stevens. These are our children. Hey, Chloe. 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 Chloe and Cooper. We are in Poilo, Hawaii on SC Ranch. SC Ranch, we start off at 2,000 elevation where the shop in the bottom corral is and up to 6,000 elevation is uh, above Mauna Road on the slopes of Mauna Kea. We have more rainfall on the bottom at the 2,000 and below Mauna Road and above Mauna Road is uh, the grass is a lot stronger and more protein so we do our natural um, finishing up there. The beef in Hawaii is as natural as you're gonna get it, you know, like we got good grass, it's as natural as you're gonna get. And our stewardship of like handling our cattle, as you guys can all see, like they're tame, they're not stressed, they're not wild, they're not mishandled. We're doing about a little over 300,000 uh, pounds of beef a year. We used to ship out because we didn't have any options to um, process the cattle here. And now we're totally 100% uh, sustainable, just all of it stays here. Born local, staying local, and feeding local people. One of the key things about what we do here is we have, what's it, 900 mother cows, and how many grass fats? 650. 650 grass fats. So we raise quite, quite a big number, have had a cattle that we raise and finish here as opposed to some of our other fellow ranchers that maybe have 500 or 700 cows that ship off the island. It's one of the unique uh, things on this ranch is there's a lane that goes from the bottom all the way to the top. So the bottom corral feeds into a lane, that lane feeds into the top corral, and from the top corral it feeds to Mono Road. So every section and every herd cow feeds into the lane. Feeds into the lane. When the ranch was first acquired from Dutch and Gordon, it was... Uh, um, it didn't look like this. Yeah. Right? It was full of um, fireweed, and it took hours and hours for like tractor operator to um, clean, you know, it out to be grazable. Grazing is kind of, you know, helping the fires, and not as uh, risky of having fires and keeping the, the vegetation down. So purchasing the ranch, uh, we acquired um, Fee Simple property and leasehold. So we have 60 acres of Fee Simple property and 7,700 acres of leasehold property from uh, the state. One of the challenges that we face is these leases coming up, they're term terming out. So that's one of the big stresses that we have is knowing where our longevity is on the ranch and ranching here. And we put a lot of infrastructure improvements on it to where I would say o over a million dollars of improvements on this ranch to get it to be sustainable in the production of where it is now today. My favorite part about this ranch besides its beauty is being able to raise our kids here. And they have become so independent and just strong riders and just really, they, they love it. They love it as much as we do. They love helping, the, the, we don't, they don't need to be playing with their iPads, they don't even want to play with their iPads when they're out on the ranch because they want to be playing with their horses. If you ask them, their favorite thing is to bear back around and yeah. Cooper's favorite thing is to drive cattle and it's just something that we're so blessed to be able to do as a family. Chloe already says she's going to be running the ranch and Cooper's going to work for her. <laughs> We actually have friends who came in to do a clinic this weekend for our um, local cutting horse club. And they came up, they're staying with us here, but Charles took them for a ride up here and he said, this is insane how beautiful this is and we had no idea it was here. Even though you've talked about it, never would they have gotten off the plane and thought, this is here, this many cattle are here, and we're one ranch. I mean, we're, we're Hawaii's big, it's bigger than you think it is, and it has more to offer than you think it does. I think it's awesome for us to be sustainable on an island.